It does bother me. That's why I suggested to Manny, hey Manny, I think you should retire. He said, well, what about fighting a rematch with this guy? I said, well, maybe a rematch, but then that's it. There can be no more fights with Mayweather and so forth. I would suggest to Manny that he retire now. But he wants to have that rematch in a neutral area, maybe in the Philippines, as a going away party. I think that would be great. But then that's it. I told him that the way his career is going, being a leader in his country and being a senator and dealing with all the responsibilities that come with that, he might have to give up boxing. Boxing is a very physical sport and a very rough sport and having two jobs like he has is so tough. He's just always going like crazy. Sometimes he'll get out early at three in the afternoon and we can go train. But there are a lot of times, it's not until 9 or 10 that he gets out and then we have to train. He still has that work ethic he always had. But I'll tell you the truth. I think that might be a problem. He wants to be what he was before and he overtrains. And when he gets to the fight, he doesn't have what he expects to have. His answer is always to do more, more, more. But when you get to a certain age... You have to listen to your body and he hasn't learned that yet. Those are the words of Freddie Roach, the trainer of Manny Pacquiao. He says he has advised Manny Pacquiao to retire. He always said that he would. Freddie Roach tells a story, a famous story of when he was a professional fighter himself. And he had come to the end of his career and his trainer at the time uh, late great Eddie Foch told Freddie Roach that he should retire and Freddie Roach got angry with Eddie Foch and they had you know an argument and whatever years later Freddie Roach realized that what Eddie Foch told him was actually the right decision was actually the right thing that he should have retired at the point that Eddie Foch told him to retire and I believe correct me if I'm wrong that Freddie Roach didn't and he continued to fight after that. And I believe I've heard Roach talk about if he'd taken Futch's advice, maybe he wouldn't have got Parkinson's disease. So he always said that if he feels Manny Pacquiao is at the end of the road, that he'll also advise him to retire. And that's what he's doing right here. He's telling Manny Pacquiao you should retire. He'd like him to retire now, but if... There is a Horn rematch. That is definitely the last fight. So if Pacquiao tries to fight on beyond then, you might even see Freddie Roach parting ways with Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao has had a Hall of Fame career. One of the things that p people don't talk about so much with Pacquiao is the heart that he has. You know, This is one of the bravest fighters you'll ever see in a boxing ring, Manny Pacquiao. Extremely brave. Massive heart. And he's been a great servant of the game. But I've noticed the decline in Pacquiao for many years. And even though there's been that decline, he's still had some decent wins since his decline. You know, since the Shane Mosley fight. But it just wasn't the same guy that we remember beating the likes of Oscar De La Hoya and you know, Antonio Margarito, Joshua Clotty, so on and so forth. Not the same guy anymore. And with these other commitments that he has outside the ring, with politics and whatnot, you wonder why he continues to box. I know a lot of people don't agree with the decision in the Jeff Horn fight. Regardless of the decision, look at the fact that his trainer is telling him to retire. So his trainer obviously feels, well, maybe it was a good decision, maybe it was a bad decision. Regardless of what happened, how good or bad the decision was Manny's not the same anymore Manny's declining Manny can't do this no more at the highest level that's what his trainer is basically saying by advising Pacquiao to retire so uh, you know I can't really say whether Pacquiao should or shouldn't retire he, he can still be in competitive fights at the top level but it's going to be a downward slope it's not going to get any better for him. Manny Pacquiao's glory days are behind him, in my view. Unless he can do a Roberto Duran and 
you know, have one last hurrah like Duran did against um around Barkley. Unless he can do something like that, <laughs> which uh, I think Duran was around 37, 38 when he beat Iran Barkley. Um, you know, maybe uh, maybe Pacquiao can do something like that. I doubt it, but we'll see. What do you think in the comment section below, people? Drop your thoughts and views. Should Manny Pacquiao retire? Should he even take the Horn rematch? How do you see the Horn rematch going if it took place in the Philippines? Let me know what you think, people. It's happening.